It's May 10th, 2020. It's been pretty sunny and warm here in Seattle. That's good for uh, plant growth. Let's start the update over here. Um, the pine tree looks the same. Here's the succulent. Um, you can see some new growth. The new leaves are forming nicely. Same uh, for this one, I think. And then over here, we have the elephant food plant. Um, some new leaves forming, I think. And the uh, frizzle sizzle. Um, the leaves are getting very curly. Looks very nice. You can see there's two plants. One, two. And then over here, this calla lily. You can see the sprouts are getting greener now. And actually, the uh, dahlia are sprouting too. If you look closely, you can see here's a sprout, and then there's another one, and there's another one. So yeah, they're sprouting, and I should put them out pretty soon. Here's the raspberry. Um, you can see the plant is getting very big, and the flowers are opening. This one doesn't look like they're pollinated too well because I'm not really seeing any uh, fruits forming. But we'll see. Uh, it's still too early to tell. Here's some more flowers that's going to open soon. Down here is just some of the first year canes, so they're not going to flower. Here's the artichoke. It's super wilty. I need to flower it. And here's some very nasty aphid infestation. Aphids are everywhere. But yeah, um, hopefully it's going to send out another flower because we don't have any artichoke anymore. Over here is the lavender. You can see a bunch of flowers forming. Looking good. And here's the rosemary. You can see all the sprouts are kind of wilted because I haven't watered the plants for a week. Same thing over here. And then here's our new hydrangea. You can see the flower has turned white. It was sort of green, but now it's white. Don't know if it's still gonna change color again, but we'll see. But yeah, this is a new variety. It looks very different from the one I have. And over here we have the summer snowflakes. Let's take a look at the seed pods. You can see they're getting very big. Hopefully we can get a lot of seeds from these. And they're also kind of turning yellow. So I can harvest them pretty soon. Saffron leaves are turning yellow. And the Persian pearl tulip is done dying back. Snowdrops, not yet. And the tulips are pretty much done too. I'll put those away next week. Here's the mulberry. Let's take some time to admire all the flowers it's sending out. You can see a bunch of uh, flowers forming on all the branches. A closer look, you can see those little white fluffy spikes. Also the leaves are coming out nicely too. Yeah, so we're going to get a lot of mulberry this year for sure. Very excited. Hyacinth, you can see the leaves are definitely turning yellow. And the lacy phacelia, flowers have opened. Let's take a closer look. I haven't seen any bees or hummingbird uh, visit these flowers yet. I'm sure they're all going to come visit soon. Down here is the <coughs> lily of the valley. Um, I actually haven't harvested the flowers, and I think they're, yeah, you can see the flowers are fading away now, so it might be a little too late. Here's the blueberry. You can see the leaves are now sort of taking over, and the flowers pretty much are all gone now, and you can see the fruits are forming. The base of the flowers are kind of swelling, and that's going to be the blueberry. Over here is the green onion. 
um, the flowers are still around but if, when I touch it I can sort of feel like a hard structure inside. I think the seeds uh, might be forming. These flowers might be pollinated or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'll keep you updated and we'll see what happens. Also, down here you can see it's sending out a few more flower spikes, which is interesting. It really wants to flower. And here's a new plant. Um, I planted some gingers on the 5th, which is 5 days ago. So I'll, sh I'll show you the video. So this is filmed on May 5th. Um, we have this ginger sitting on the countertop and it has started sprouting as you can see. So yeah, I'm gonna plant this guy. Probably gonna cut this whole thing up into a several pieces. Here I cut it up into three pieces. This piece over here um, contains this big sprouts. And then this one, I think there's a few sprouts on the sides. And then this piece has one, one to two sprout or something. One sprout probably. So yeah, um, this one looks pretty promising. So I'm just gonna use this uh, daffodil, old daffodil pot to plant the gingers. So I'm just gonna dig like a shallow hole and plant the ginger pieces in the soil. Probably gonna arrange them like this sprouts facing inwards because I want them to grow into the center, not to the side. So yeah, this is probably how I'm going to arrange them. And yeah, they're in the soil now. I'm just going to label a knife and water this pot thoroughly and wait for them to sprout. Hopefully they will sprout. Back to the garden update. Here's the striped squirrel. The seed pods are sort of turning yellow now too. Some aphids, annoying. But yeah, we can harvest these pretty soon too. Grape hyacinth, latifolium, seed pods are maturing too. Here's the snow, glory of the snow. And this is the peony and the daffodil. All looking pretty much the same. The grape hyacinth, you can see the leaves are sort of turning yellow. So it's also dying back with a bunch of seed pods. Probably gonna harvest at least a few, but not, not too many, because there's too many. Here's the strawberries. You can see the leaves are getting a lot taller. And if you look closely, there's a lot of aphids. Those little dot things, those are aphids, which is pretty nasty. Um, anyways, you can see they're all sending out a lot of flowers. I haven't seen bees visiting them, so I doubt these uh, sprout strawberries are gonna be well formed, but we'll see. These one looks fine, but I don't know. The crocus, you can see it's definitely dying back and I can't wait to put them away because they're kind of getting unruly. The hydrangeas are doing fine, you can see the flowers are now opening. This variety is gonna be looking like this well not this looking like this so yeah it looks a lot different from the var first variety I showed you but it seems like the color is gonna be pink this year but it might be a different color for the other pots and it might change over time here's the asparagus pot with a bunch of succulents you can see all these succulents are gonna flower soon Hopefully going to attract a lot of bees. And yeah, the asparagus is looking great. You can see these guys are doing well. And also digging into the pot, I found this new sprouts of asparagus and this other new sprouts of purple variety. So yeah, they're still sprouting. And the catnips are kind of messy. Here's more succulents and the grape over here. Um, these guys are probably done flowering. I'm not sure if they're gonna turn into grapes though. But yeah, here's a few more um, grape sprouts with some flower things forming. I'm gonna give you a closer look right there. You can see another flower thing forming. Hopefully they're gonna open and turn into grapes, but 
that might be too much uh, too much for to ask for down here's the rhubarb you can see it's still sending out leaves and also a lot of aphids pretty nasty big leaves and the saffron it's dying back still for the indoor garden here we have the petal succulent plants leaves are getting a lot bigger another succulents and the orchids are all still growing nicely a lot of uh, new growths as you can see not not too much has changed though so I'm just gonna go over them quickly string of pearl might be sending us some new growth but doesn't look like it here's another orchid another orchid another orchid and you can see this guy is sending out quite a few new growth here's the small pear plant coloration looks great and the phalaenopsis um, it's not looking too different here's the ficus tree still sending out new leaves a good sign and the Hoya plants I broke last week, aka the pretty one, is in water now. Probably not the best idea. The sad pineapple isn't looking too different. The knee leaf um, in the center isn't getting taller. So the pineapple isn't growing, but it's also not dying anymore. Let's just wait then. Dragon tree plants looks great. <coughs> the dendrobium also looking great. A lot of leaves, prayer plants, not as uh, decent coloration, but a lot of new leaves. The Hoya plant, um, you can see this new growth is looking good, not going to touch it. Don't want the second pretty one. Stackholm fern, um, you can see some water, I just kind of misted it. But this, the shield frond isn't really getting bigger. And lastly, the spider plants. 